Alright, yeah, and welcome back to the final episode of this week's uh, Magic Jewels gameplay with our White Weenie Aggro deck. Uh, just a quick notice before we start the game. If you do want your deck to be played next week, then send it to me down in the comments section below, on Twitter, or via email, whichever one you fancy. And I'll add it to my list, and hopefully your deck gets picked next week. But without further ado, let's get into the game, shall we? See you there. And we're in, and on the draw. This hand's a little slow, but I think we can make it work. I think we might as well keep it. If we get a third land off our draw as well, the always watching is pretty good. So we'll keep it. Looks like our opponent mulliganed down a little bit. And he's playing a multicolored deck that he does not want to inform us of. Grasp of the Hieromancer, that's nice. That might help us get through whichever creature he ends up playing in front of us. Let's find out what color he's playing. It is a black. Black, red, vampires, maybe. Ooh. Three color. Our opponent, by the way, is ranked 30, called Leo Pren. If I've butchered your name, I apologize. Uh, let's see. Best get down the Militia Captain, because the Blade Whirl's first strike into the battlefield ability is probably better used uh, to get through whatever creature he might play next. Which I'm not really sure what he might play, judging by these colours. It's thrown me a little, I don't see these often. Okay. Hmm. That's an Astro. So, we can maybe suit it up with Nimbus Wings, that makes it a for toughness. I'm just thinking about burn spells at the moment on what spells might save them from it. Because if we Nimbus Wings and gave him four toughness, then Thalia's Lieutenant later to give him five is out of all removal range for the most part, other than planar outburst. But I'm not expecting anything hasty. So I don't think the always watching is really necessary. Hmm. I suppose we'll Nimbus Wings him up. And he's probably going to get burnt. Yeah, there we go. That's a shame. It happens. Okay. What is our opponent going to do? That was three damage, so yeah, the always watching would have been a bad play anyway. I think he's just trying to burn out all our creatures. If we play the Gideon, an exquisite firecraft will upset my day. But other than that, we could be alright. Hmm. You know what? I'll throw a Blade Whirl into the mix. And I think that'll maybe entice him somewhat to burn that instead. Do we want to play a Lieutenant? Yeah, let's go a little bit wide. And he burns away our blade well. Which is good. It's what we wanted. Our lieutenant's pretty crap now, but... We've gotten his hand pretty low down now, and we've kept our Gideon, which is the main source of creature advantage for us later on. So I think we're doing well. Though the board does not necessarily uh, suggest that. Hmm. So I could grasp up the lieutenant for two. Likely gets burnt away, and then we play a militia captain. Or I could just play the ally of Zendikar. You know what? Let's attack in with our lieutenant, see if he wants to burn it away. Oh no, he can... No, he can equip up his... Um, needle Spires. Which actually makes me want to do this instead. Now we have two two twos. 
Um, do I want to give it a three? That's a three damage burn spell, but he's used two of them already. Um, hmm. What's he holding? Let's stick a grasp on the lieutenant. Hopefully I don't get punished for that. Nope, no burn spell. Okay. That's good. Has our opponent run out of steam? Fiery impulse. Yeah, three damage to that. Cool. That doesn't attack a land, does it? No. It would if I threw my captain into it. But I think that's a bad idea. Let's get Gideon out. Let's try and get the Westvale Abbey online. Uh, do I want to plus him to get him out of Firecraft range? Yeah, let's do that. Let's get him out of Exquisite Firecraft range because that's just one spell for a Gideon. We're going to have to hold off because of that Needle Spires. Which likely means we're going to have to throw the captain in the way. Hmm. Avacyn's Judgment. And then he gets to attack us for four with his, his Needle Spires. I think he almost missed his trigger there. We've almost made him run out of steam. Oh, continue playing, I guess. I think he just lost connection, to be honest. Well, this is an interesting matchup, so I shall continue playing it. I'd like to see... This is probably one of the first few times that I've ended up being this heavily bombarded with burn spells. So I'd like to see how I can come back from it. We've got the exposed evil to tap down his needle spires if he tries to come at us again. Unfortunately, we can't really get Gideon out of burn range. Even if we plussed him. Galitas, you are going to get Angelic Purged in a future turn. I think that would be a lovely play. We get a Plains. I think that does actually help us out a little bit. Because it means we can always watch him. Though it doesn't do anything, technically. But we can also hold up the Expose Evil to tap down the Kalitas and his Needle Spires when we need it. So I think we can stabilise off this. We just need five creatures and the Westvale Abbey gets to flip and that's just going to be advantage I don't think he can come back from. And it will literally be the first time I've flipped the Westvale Abbey, so that'd be nice. Okay, so he comes in with his creatures, we tap them both down. And he plays another Needle Spires. Okay. That isn't a nice card to draw. Let's do that. That's even worse. Okay. Well, with that in mind, can we attack? I don't think we can. Hmm. No, I think we just keep putting out tokens and get rid of his Kalitas. Because we're just going to get rushed out if we don't. And maybe this is the time to actually just let the Gideon go. We are going to Angelic Purge that, though. Getting rid of a planes. We've got too many as it is. Well, we can swing in with one. So we're going to... If we want to trade, it's going to be with these two against those two anyway, so... But I, I'm not sure if we do or not. 
Oh, we can only activate one per turn. That's interesting. With that in mind, we can keep three on the table at all times as long as we keep zero in Gideon until he draws another land. Oath of Chandra. Uh, target creature. So he can get rid of one of our tokens. Okay. This is a cool burn deck. Ooh, Knight. Knight thins out our deck and he's a 3-3 three, three first striker. Which actually can trade with the Needle Spires. Thank you to the person in the comments who uh, informed me that Double Strikers do not get their second attack in that I should have known. But I didn't. Uh, so, can we plus Gideon? If we plus Gideon, then we've got two blockers. Yeah, let's do it. Start getting Gideon better. We have the two blockers to deal with that. And it's 6-6. Six, six, which is beautiful. So actually, this deck's holding up quite well in the late game. After being burnt out repeatedly. I'll say that and the Radiant Flames will come down and that will just ruin our day. Ravaging Blaze, X damage to tag creature and the rest goes to us as well. So yeah, burns out our knight. And he's killed our Gideon. Ah, spoke too soon. And we are drawing garbage. We can start using the Westvale Abbey though. To start building up creatures, but I'm not sure if we'll have the time. Swing for the two. Let's take a little bit of a damage. Why not? So far we're at full health anyway, so... Our opponent <laughs> technically hasn't hurt us at all this game, really. Just our creatures. So taking four is not much of a big deal for me, since he's at ten. And I'm hoping we draw into another knight, maybe, or something that can trade away with the Needle Spires, anyway. And is he going to pass the turn? Yep. Okay, so we are going to pay one life and get a Cleric. And start building up that Westvale Abbey. Come on, creature. Angelic Purge. Doesn't help us unless we can trick him into activating a Needle Spires on our turn. So I'm going to have to pass the turn back. Ah, oh, I should have attacked with a 2-2. So we can actually just trade one life from the Westvale Abbey. To block one of his Needle Spires. So it's paying one life to negate four. But do I think, if I get a creature next turn, I'll be at four. But he could just mass burn with a Ravaging Blaze, for example. He, has, he seems to have a lot of X burn spells in there, so I do need to watch my health just a little bit. So I'll do that. That's paying one life to not lose four. And then Eilie. Why is there an Eile in this deck? Seems like the last deck you'd want. That kind of thing in. Since he's nowhere near 30 and I haven't seen any sign of him being able to get there either. So that's an Expedition Envoy. That's three, gets us to four. We could get Westvale Abbey next turn if we don't block. And with that in mind... Let's Angelic Purge that creature away and negate a little bit of damage. And we might as well swing in. Hmm. Yeah, we'll swing in with just a 2-2. Two -two. I'd like to block with the 1-1. One -one. Worst case scenario. But he's top drawing now. And we're top decking. He only seems to want to activate one at a time. There we go. 
Hmm. Uh, we're slowly dying. It's eight damage. Puts us at eight life. Seven once we activate the Westvale Abbey, but if we get... No, I don't think it's really worth it. If I get a creature next turn and I could have activated it, but I'd be very upset. We get a Maker Stand. Ooh. Ooh, Maker Stand's going to double trade. Yes. That's exactly what we want. I should have attacked with the Envoy. Ah, I forgot I had uh, Vigilance. Yeah, we can trade away now with the two needle spires, which actually could just do it for us. Ravaging Blaze. It's five damage to us and kills one of our creatures. Do I want a Westvale Abbey and go down to one? Yeah. Two life, one life. I don't think it makes a difference. Hmm. Imbus wings. Um. Any point doing that? We're dead to a burn spell anyway. Maker Stan's gonna trade off with the needle spires if he doesn't have a burn spell in his hand. No reason not to, right? Sick and Imp's wings on that. We're not going to attack with it though, because we do want to trade off. Hmm. That's one Needle Spires. If he activates the other, we're in business. Yes. Sweet. Right. That's his two main damage dealers down then. Block. Block. Give them indestructible. Your two lands down. And we have some damage on the board. So now it's just a matter of having this carry us to the end of the game. Can we survive the next turn with these two creatures? Because if we can, we win. Kothfed, we've got a declaration for him. Which if he passes the turnover, that could be it. An angelic purge instead. You know what, if we declarationed and he had a one mana burn spell, we'd be very upset. So I'm going to angelic purge it instead. Bam. Oh, he gets to draw a card off it anyway. I thought it was just creatures that loses from, but... And... Yeah! Sweet. That was awesome. So we managed to make it through a burn deck that was just absolutely ravaging our creatures. Didn't get a Radiant Flames, though. I imagine that would have sealed the deal for him, though. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next game. We're in, and we're on the draw. Expensive cards with a one land hand. Gotta throw it back. Uh, I really hate this. It's hedging all my bets on one creature. Throw it back. That'll have to do... If we get a land, actually, this is really good. Hmm. Blue-white. Interesting. Well, we get to lead with an envoy. We did not get our land, which is a little worrying. Our opponent is rank 33, called Pratham B, or Pratham. Up to you. <laughs> we'll see. Right, so. He did not play a creature. Do we get land, please? Yes! Oh, this deck loves me. It loves me so much that it gives me everything I ever wanted. Right, we'll just... Swing in for the two. Check that everything's all clear. It is indeed, so we'll throw down a free blade. Hopefully it don't get countered. Oh! 
Awesome. Off to a lovely start. It's Sphinx's tutelage. Hmm. Could do with a land into an angelic purge for that. But if he's just a tutelage deck, then I like our odds. So we're going to Nimbus Wings up the free blade. Which means we're swinging in for five this turn. Which is awesome. I'm just worried about a bounce spell to get rid of our auras, but we do have two more as a backup anyway. Because he's likely got a lot of slowdown spells. A lot of cantrips like Grip of the Royal. What do we lose? Landon and always watching. A Royal Spout. There you go. There's a bounce spell right there. So we've lost our aura and we're going to be drawing into the free blade next turn, which is quite a significant slowdown. But the train keeps on chugging. Hmm. Don't see many uh, blue white tutelage decks. It's usually uh, into a turbo fog shell if you're going to go in tutelage. That or running. Um, well, it is in blue. The creature that discards your hand and draws you that many. There's a lot of tutelage uh, shells, actually, to be fair. Envoy. Envoy. Right, to reduce the odds of getting thrown out, uh, bounced out, I'm just going to attack in, I think. And if nothing happens, then we envoy. I think that's probably a good play. It is, yeah, Gideon's Reproach. And that is exactly why I did not want to put an aura or any of my creatures, because we'd have lost the one that we did. Okay, so we'll Envoy. He's down to nine, so... We've got him in three turns. Two turns if we don't get our creatures bounced and we get to put auras on them. Lost another land. Could do with another land. He's just leaving all his mana up. Hmm. Yeah, so I'm expecting more approaches... Let's, we'll throw a Grasp down, just based off the fact that there's removal, because we want the Nimbus Wings if he plays a creature so we can get past it, if it's not a flyer anyway. So we'll play the Grasp down, which means he's dead in two turns off this. And Bounce. Foundry. Oh yeah, crap. Silly me. That was stupid of me. Take full responsibility for that one, but we still do have our 3-2. And he's bid very little in the ways of getting rid of claustrophobia. Ah! Stop it! Yeah. This is a bad matchup, apparently. You just can't get that 9 damage through anymore. Unless, of course, we get another creature and it doesn't get countered. Yes! Sweet. We're back on track. The deck is drawing exactly what I want it to. And another Claustrophobia. Ah! Well, with a... Oh, we still need a land for an Angelic Purge. Hmm. Well, there's a land. Problem is... Can't exactly do anything now. Maybe I had Declaration in Stone on my own creatures to get a um, investigation token. Then again, we are against Mill. So I think risky, strange plays like that probably aren't a good idea. So yeah, let's just pass the turn back. If only we could get rid of the claustrophobia. Our opponent might have us off this. It's tapping out. Which is awesome. 
Skyline Cascade. Yeah, it's just a tap down strategy, it looks like. Hmm. Nimbus Swings. Now we are struggling. Now we're really struggling. I'm gonna Declaration and Envoy. So we could really do with an answer sooner rather than later, and he's running our deck down a little low. And he now has a thought to foundry, uh, foundry of the consoles. Uh, can't believe he actually managed to get rid of all our creatures. Just off bounce spells and lockdown spells alone. Core Blade Whirl, that is a nice creature. With the amount of lands we've lost, I didn't think it'd be worthwhile cracking the clue first. I think the odds aren't exactly in our favour and it would have wasted a turn if we did. But we might next turn since we won't have much to do. Another Sphinx's tutelage, so the game is on. Flip his Jace, he's going to give this minus two so we can't deal damage with it. Dazzling Reflection. Yeah, this is just... The entire strategy is built around creature-based decks, which is ours in a nutshell. This is essentially a hate deck for ours. So I don't think we ever stood a chance. There's a land. What does that do for us? Um, we can only get two damage in this turn. Max. Let's crack a clue. So we've only got eight cards left. It's an Angelic Purge. He's won next turn though, aren't he? Yeah. Let's just throw a Nimbus Wings on and then swing for one. He's got us. Bit of a sad state of affairs, to be honest. So that's four minimum. Down to one. Compare five. Oh, you also got that. Reflector Mage is away our creature, and that is going to be the game. God dang it. Hmm. We needed a more aggressive hand. I think that would have done it, but we just didn't get it, sadly. Try to draw and lose. Nah. Well, that is going to do it for this week, guys. So if you've enjoyed the content, then be sure to leave a like. If you've loved the content, then be sure to subscribe. If you're not quite sure, stay for the end card. See the rest of the content I've got to offer. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>